Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. And in this video, we are gonna look at what the on-premises data gateway is for Power BI. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, you've heard about this gateway thing, you've maybe seen some references to it, but what is it? You may just not know. And if you're just getting started with Power BI or you're just getting started with this whole gateway thing, that's what I wanna talk about. So the on-premises data gateway is really all about giving you the ability to get data from your on-premises infrastructure to Power BI for use in things like reports and dashboards. So if you think about it, Power BI is a cloud service that sits in Microsoft data centers. By default, it's not gonna be able to connect to a like a SQL server in your environment. And so how would that data get up to Power BI? Like if you need to refresh it or something of that nature, that's where the gateway comes in. That gateway is used as a mechanism to get that data to the cloud to be used in your reports and dashboards. And that may sound like it's really hard and complicated to get it up and running, but it's not. There, you just install it really quickly, registers with Power BI service, and or one may already be available for you that an IT admin has set up and allows you to use. And if you're not sure if that's available for you, you can always check with whoever it is in your organization that manages Power BI to find out if there is one available for you. Another item you may not be aware of is that this on-premises data gateway can be used with more than just Power BI. This is used across the entire Power Platform. Also, it is used with Azure Analysis Services, with Azure Logic Apps. So there's a slew of items that can take advantage of this on-premises data gateway. Even if it's the only one you have installed, it can be used by all of these services. So it's pretty powerful in that sense. I can install one on-premises data gateway and use it with Power BI, with Power Apps, with Microsoft Flow. All of these services can be aware that this gateway exists. You're gonna see references to something called personal with the on-premises data gateway. This is the personal mode of the gateway itself, and this is about you as a report content author. So if you need to get data refreshed inside of your report, but you don't need to worry about, you know, contacting IT to make sure all this is set up, you can just install a personal gateway and then configure that in the data set that you published from Power BI Desktop. You still need to know the credentials for the data source, so hopefully you do. You can then set up schedule refresh and you're good to go. So there's a personal mode, but there's also an enterprise mode of this on-premises data gateway. This is the main function of the gateway itself. This enterprise mode does everything the personal mode does plus more. So the personal mode can only be used for imported data. So in terms of schedule refresh, it can only be used in that sense. The enterprise mode can be used for imported schedule refresh data, as well as things like direct query and live connections to analysis services. So if you need to use direct query or you need to do a live connection to analysis services that's on premises, you need to use the enterprise mode of the on-premises data gateway. All right, this whole gateway thing, IT environments, this is really scary, right? Like I, I need to like make sure it's secure and how, what are all the firewall ports that I need to open up? The thing to know about the on-premises data gateway is that it's all outbound communication. It's your gateway reaching out to Power BI or to Power Apps or to Flow. It's not the cloud services reaching into your environment. This is not a dedicated VPN. This is not a tunnel for things to go back and forth. This is the gateway sitting there pulling the Azure service bus, waiting for requests, and when it does, it queries the data source and pushes that data up to the cloud. There still may be some things that you need to configure in your environment if you're on the IT side, especially if you're locking down outbound communication. You don't need to open up any inbound ports into your environment, yay. All right, was this helpful to get you up to speed in terms of what this whole gateway thing is and what it's for? If it was, I wanna share with you a free cheat sheet that I put together that talks about what was in this video plus a little more, and you can print that off, you can just have it on your machine in case you need to reference it again. We always use cheat sheets when I was in the support organization, just as quick reference to keep things 
front and center in case you forget about it because I don't remember everything, right? So I'm gonna go look it up. So this cheat sheet is available for you. I've got a link down in the description below if you do wanna go grab that. And then let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you or if there was something else that you needed to know about the gateway. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.